Hey, uh, I'm parting out this, uh, it's an LG monitor. Oh, no. It says LG here. It says Dell here. It says Dell, uh, it's a, uh, flat panel monitor. Um, it's a U2417H. And then this one here, it says, uh, LG. LG, it says, uh, part number 0JRX1Y. And here's another, that's probably a good display. The display got cracked on this. Uh, the screen was working good. I'm pulling this, I'm gonna save this, try and resell it. See, this is part number uh, 760A1405000, 1M03, KT. It had quite a lot of hookups here on the back, so I thought I'd save it. Um, it's got just about every kind of hookup you can think of, almost. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I plugged it in, it came on fine. And, uh, it just had these cracks in it, that's how I got it with these cracks in it so this one's just going to get stripped and then taken to the e-waste recycling it's got these two usbs usb 3s on the side here but yeah that's uh if you need any uh parts let me know i got a couple of them here okay so this one this one looks a little different doesn't have quite so many options Got plugged into power. Let's watch and see what it does. Okay, it comes on. So it's got power. It's putting out here. Um, yeah, it's. You can see the color lines there. Yeah. It's got. Yeah, it's. You know, it's got plenty of power. Um, it's just that uh, it's it's cracked. You can see all the cracks in it. It's trying to come on. Um, but I don't know, I think you might be able to put an input on one of these and then get an output on it. So I think the power supply itself, this part here, this module, would actually be a monitor. So you could theoretically do an output, put an input in and then an output out and, and reuse the power supply for this monitor. And then this one is the P2219H, P, uh, P2219H. Power button works. Okay, then I stripped out this HP printer. This is the power board. Uh, I actually have a couple of other boards for it. And uh, so this one I got from... Uh, Oh, it was a, uh, it was a company that, uh, you know, they go through a lot of this kind of stuff. Um, got some numbers here, numbers here. Oh, the capacitors look good. Power input here, power output there. Fuses look good. Okay, here's these other parts I got. Got these motors and these boards on the side. These boards were on the side of it. Was it 9062420? The side panel board. Here's another one. 9062420. Oh, same number same number on it but it's a different board and then we got these drive motors kind of neat looking I don't see any numbers on these there's one number here 24 volt 1 amp NIDIC 42M050C150 Okay, so here's these little Dells I got there, the dual cores, I think, uh, Intel, oh, it's Pentium 4, Windows XP, 
Uh, we have the XP Professional sticker on the side. And let's see, what does this say? Uh, Pentium, 80 gig hard drive. So it already has a hard drive in it. Apparently. No, oh, there it is, yeah. So this is the one, uh, I think they've got, some of these have cooling fans underneath the uh, hard drive. And it looks like it's got two, gig, two gigs of RAM. And it's got this little graphic card in it. Well, that's just kind of a special setup there. Anyway, I've got a bunch of these. And you could use it on that card, or you can use it on the regular video output. So, uh, with a password cracker, you could crack this pretty easy. It, it has a password on it, I'm pretty sure. And it's probably got a uh, pretty good package, Windows package on it. Probably has Word and all that stuff on it. Window maker, window video maker, whatever. Movie maker. And I've got a few of these. I'm taking best offers on these. This one here, you can see it doesn't look like it's been used hardly at all. There's no lint built up inside of it. No lint on the power supply vent. Nice little computer. Small form.